I prepare the valley for the universal judgment. My love will unite you. Revelations of Jesus Christ from 1884 to 1950. The Consummation of Creation I am preparing the valley where all my children must unite for the great universal judgment. I shall judge with perfection. My love and charity shall envelop humanity. And on that day you shall find salvation and the balm for your ills. If today you atone for your faults, Allow your spirits to purify. Thusly will you be prepared to receive from me the inheritance that I have destined for each of you. My love will unite all men and all the worlds. Before me will disappear the differences in races, languages and lineages, and even the differences which exist in the spiritual evolution. My spirit has poured out over every spirit, and my angels are sown all over the universe, fulfilling my mandate of putting all in order, and bringing all again to its proper channels. And when all have fulfilled their missions, ignorance will have disappeared, evil will no longer exist, and only good will reign over this planet. All of the worlds in which my children are perfecting themselves are like an infinite garden. Today you are tender bushes, but I promise you that the crystalline waters of my teachings will not be lacking, and with its watering you shall continue growing in wisdom and love, until one day in eternity, when the trees are crowned with fully mature fruit, the divine gardener shall revel in his work, tasting the fruits of his own love. I wish that, at the end of the struggle, when all my children have reunited to spend eternity in the spiritual home, they shall participate in my infinite happiness as the Creator, taking into account that each of you have taken part in the divine work, building or rebuilding. Only in the spiritual will you discover that of all that I have created since the beginning, nothing has been lost that in me all lives again, all grows and is renewed. And so, if so many beings were lost for so long, if many, instead of works of life, created works of destruction, they shall find that the time of their disturbance was fleeting, and their works, as bad as they were, shall find repair in the eternal life to be made into collaborators of my unceasingly creative work. What are a few centuries of sin and darkness, such as humanity has had on earth, if you compare them to eternity, with the endless time of evolution and peace? You have parted from me by means of your free will, and you shall return induced by the conscience. This world is not eternal, nor is it necessary that it be so. When this dwelling ceases to have the reason it now has to exist, it will disappear.